The fatal stabbing of Portia Pollock, allegedly by a criminal defendant who was supposed to be on an electronic ankle monitor, not only shook the city, but exposed ongoing problems in the criminal court system. Investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein has now uncovered another case being handled, handled by the same judge. And in this case, the defendant who was supposed to be monitored while awaiting trial not only ended up rearrested, but in the hospital with a gunshot wound. New Orleans police have linked this man, 21-year-old Don Rubio, to as many as 80 car burglaries. Police viewed him as enough of a menace to put out this bulletin to help catch him. Once detectives arrested him, they booked him in 58 cases, along with separate gun and weapons charges from outstanding warrants. One of the warrants accuses him and another man of opening fire during a shootout in Treme. Yet despite being on probation prior to these 2020 arrests, court records show that Rubio remained free after repeatedly posting bail. The records show he was arrested in January, March, and May and posted bail each time. After his September arrest as one of the city's busiest car burglars, a magistrate commissioner ordered him to wear an ankle monitor and placed him on house arrest. Electronic monitoring ordered by the court didn't seem to slow him down and the house arrest was ultimately loosened to the point that Rubio was coming and going as he pleased. So we've gone back to the bad old days where essentially we are releasing people on the honor system. Rubio was arrested again just last month, this time booked with possession of a stolen car. At the time of his arrest, Rubio was still wearing his ankle monitor. But before he was booked into central lockup, this police report shows he first went to University Medical Center. That's because he was shot through the arm. You know, this is another example in the, uh, the Rubio case where uh, an offender that is, is charged with a laundry list of burglaries and other assorted felonies and a few misdemeanors is basically given a, a get-out-of-jail-free of card. Electronic monitoring of New Orleans criminal defendants is being heavily scrutinized following the fatal stabbing of Portia Pollock, allegedly by this man, Brian Andry. Andry was ordered to wear an ankle bracelet by Judge Angel Harris, but records show that condition never made it onto Andry's release papers. We've got a public that is very fearful of what's happening now. Councilman Jay yeah. Banks raised concerns at a recent criminal justice committee hearing about the tragic killing, including the lack of a consistent electronic monitoring program. We can't have it two-sided with crime going up and then the system falling apart. A deeper look at the Rubio case reveals the haphazard nature of the current monitoring programs, which have been provided by several private operators since the collapse five years ago of a program by the Sheriff's Office and NOPD. Rubio's case begins in magistrate court, where the court's risk assessment rates him as a four out of six, recommending intense supervision. Based on that, Magistrate Commissioner Robert Blackburn issues this order, combining 13,000 in bail on three counts, but a free release on another 89 counts, most of them related to car break-ins. He also orders home incarceration. But when the case was assigned to Judge Angel Harris, the same judge in the Brian Andrew case, that all changed. According to docket entries and electronic monitoring records, she modified his home incarceration a couple of times, first to allow him to look for a job during the day, then allowing him to be out at night when he asked to work music gigs. Those conditions were essentially lifted by Judge Harris. Which the judges say is within their discretion. A person could be on an ankle monitor and not have a curfew. So it really varies on a defendant-by-defendant defendant or case-by-case case basis. Rubio's roaming privileges came to a crashing halt on May 8th when he was shot inside of a stolen car. This police report shows that Rubio told officer he was, quote, chilling in the French Quarter after 10 at night, then shot while he and three others were driving to the Little Woods neighborhood. The judge is, is failing to utilize the benefits of electronic monitoring. That's like putting a screen door on a submarine. It's just not going to work. Judge Harris said judicial rules prohibit her from talking about an open case. Rubio's public defender, Rachel Linder, did not return calls for comment. But records show the judge was alerted to Rubio being shot by this electronic monitoring report. In its report, the monitoring company, Assured Supervision Accountability Program, ASAP expresses its concern with the judge's loose conditions. Even Rubio's mom was alarmed, 
quoted in the report saying she does not understand how he is able to travel as he does. That's not a, uh, a fashion accessory. It's a public safety tool. A couple of days after Harris received the report, records show she put him back on his original restrictions, 24-hour home incarceration, where he remains today. How many more of these guys are walking around? How many more of them, time bombs, are out there that just haven't blown up yet? Records show that at least 13 defendants on ankle bracelets have no restrictions other than to remain in Louisiana. This is the Marine Center. I'm just doing a test call. When pressed for answers, the judges of criminal court said that, for now, they have none. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. In addition to the several dozen New Orleans defendants wearing ankle monitors ordered by a judge, about the same number are wearing them on the orders of the bail bond companies that posted their bail. Records show almost none of those bracelets come with curfews or home confinement.